A family is calling for justice after their loved one was killed in a home invasion. This happened in series in September, and today the family is posting surveillance of that incident. Case Area 3's Danica Hill spoke with the victim's family who are still searching for answers. There's no words to seeing the last moments of your loved one. That video showing the moments a group of suspects carrying guns forced 22 year old Christian Sanchez back inside the home. It's something that I wish that I, I would not see. You know, I wish that video wasn't there because obviously it's going to scar us for life. The family telling me it was a difficult decision to post the video online, but they're searching for justice. Our hopes on posting the video was, you know, People might recognize voices, you know, they might recognize uh, the style the person walks, you know, and that's pretty much what we're hoping for is, you know, information to to lead us to who did this to Christian. According to the initial report from the Stanislaw County Sheriff's Department, sometime during a fight between the intruders and the residents, Sanchez was shot. We want justice. We want we want these people caught, you know before they hurt anybody else. You know, uh, honestly, I mean, we just don't know. We don't know how to how to take all this in. In the video, the suspects can be heard asking Christian his name and if there were kids inside the home. Are there kids in the house? Yes, please, please. Hey, brother, that's all I asked for, bro. This was a, a heartless, uncaring, showing no sympathy, no, no remorse for a human life. Christian's uncle Fernando says he was a bright kid with his whole life ahead of him. He was the life of the family. He didn't make anybody laugh. Big goofball, goofball, you know, loving and caring, would take his shirt off for anybody. His family says he had just started a new welding job, working to take care of his daughter and his family. He's already laid to rest, you know, but. I can't say peacefully because, you know, obviously his, his killer's still out there. In Stanislaw County, Danica Hill, KCRA 3 News. And the sheriff's office says that this is still an active investigation. They're working to gather more details in the case.